Hi dear friends, this uh, video I'm shooting it because I find out that actually the cons they are working that we used to make it before maybe more than one year they was in my storage room and in this video I would like to show you the resonance that they produce the amplitude how much is increasing and what is the resonant frequency of these cons this is the first space time antenna the fourth prototype we make but before I didn't know exactly how to conduct the experiment and I realized that for the last few months I have new knowledge and I can uh, conduct the experiment in a completely different way. This is the oscilloscope, as you can see. Uh, I will do my best to, to make it more crisp. From this uh, side is the signal generator, which uh, generate different frequency. And the maximum amplitude or voltage this signal generator can make, it's 1.2 volts, as you can see, RMS, or in other words, about 3.5 volts peak to peak. Here you can see that is 3.5 volts from peak to peak. And now I would like to show you something. I will press an oscilloscope to measure and to show the, uh, the wave. And I will start to change the frequency and you will see the voltage, how much it will change. When the antenna is working in the resonant frequency, this must make the voltage or uh, higher or in other words to increase the amplitude it's very simple right now it's 100 hertz you can see the amplitude uh, the frequency here and the voltage here so i will start to increase uh, now it's 200 and you can see it's higher frequency but the voltage it stay the same it's 1.2 volts the input and the output is the same. Now I'm increasing. Now it's 1 kilohertz or 1000 hertz. Again, it's 1.2 volts. The amplitude, it doesn't really go up here. Now we increase the frequency. We go to 2 kilohertz. As you can see, the voltage is the same. We're going to go up to 3 kilohertz, the same. Up to 4 kilohertz. You have the same voltage. There is no resonance here. Okay, so let me make it again more just to expand to be more easy to see. Again, this is 4 kilohertz frequency. Now let's go to 5 kilohertz. 5 kilohertz, we have the same. 6, 7, 8, 9. I'm increasing it fast. 10. 10 kilohertz, we have the same voltage. Here the voltage 14, 16, 17, we go 20 kilohertz and the voltage slightly increase, 1.23 is the voltage. Uh, this is not a big deal, we're looking for something more significant. I continue to increase the frequency and we go to 30 kilohertz. You can see the voltage a little bit, it's a little bit more increased. Now I will go higher, 40 kilohertz. Now it's 1.3 volts. Let's increase even more. We increase up to 50 kilohertz and we have 1.4 volts. So we are approaching resonant frequency, but the result is it's not a big deal, you know, like percentage. So now I will continue to increase this frequency. Let me make it in this way and we're gonna go 60 60 kilohertz in the 60 kilohertz we have 1.6 volts not much but now you can see every one kilohertz or every 1000 hertz we have a voltage it's increasing much more than before this means that we really approach the resonant frequency. About 71 kilohertz, we have double output. Almost 72. Remember, we start with 1.2 volts. Now we have 2.4 volts on 72 kilohertz. But let me show you something very interesting. Look now the voltage, what is going to do. Now 74, we have 3 volts. 75, we have 3 
0.3 and here the oscilloscope cannot register so I have to uh, auto scale it again and it shows almost 4 volts we are 40 we are 76 kilohertz and we have this result 77 you see the voltage drastically increase with ev every kilohertz we add now 78 kilohertz we have 6.3 volts 79 you can see again the oscilloscope cannot register because it's too high so we need to auto adjust and you can see here we have 9 volts of output we start with 1.2 let me go here and increase slightly slightly very softly and now you can see we go 12 we go 12 volts 12.1 volt rms this is rms voltage okay this is inside amplitude the voltage peak to peak here it's 34.2 volts from peak to peak from here to here from the top to the bottom or to the bot from the bottom to the top it's 34 volts but inside the useful voltage is 12 volts again we start with 1.2 volts we have 12 volts this is exactly 10 times the amplitude multiplied by 10 times no magnets here no iron cores no nothing pure copper wire which is in a specific arrangement in a specific angle nothing else just copper wire in a, in a specific geometric construction this is what i like to show you and one more thing very interesting i will increase more frequency and you will see how the drop the voltage will drop down uh, so when i go 80 kilohertz we go here out of resonant frequency we have 81 kilohertz or 80 2 kilohertz in this case and the voltage dropped down until 3.8 volts so we increase just with 2 kilohertz out of the resonant frequency and the voltage dropped down drastically let's go back and see what exactly is the resonant frequency in our setup it is about 79.8 kilohertz this is the maximum output we can get this device it's just very primitive it has a lot it can be improved much more it can be uh, added with completely different components encapsulated with tetrahedral structure structure inside can be at a central road and so on and so forth and this is the most primitive version of the space-time antenna uh, i i hope this is inspiring you and for those of you who work with this project and who work uh, in this with this setup maybe i can give you some clues and hits hints in order to complete uh, your setup and to make this or maybe even better results and thank you for watching and i will see you in the next presentation in which we're going to see that the energy and the matter is one and the same thing thank you and i will see you in the next video